Today we're going to take a look at Baby Gannick's SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen. Is it difficult to apply? Does it leave a white cast? Let's find out. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back. I am so excited to be kicking off the third season of Sunscreen and Such um, with a new mineral sunscreen review. And that is Baby Gannick's SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen. This is a baby sunscreen, so I like to try those a lot because they're usually like fragrance free and have gentle um, ingredients, so they're really good for like sensitive skin. So we will see how this sunscreen feels on the skin, how it applies, and of course how it looks cosmetically. Again, this is a mineral sunscreen so it's made with titanium dioxide at 3% and zinc oxide at 12%. This is tear free so that's kind of not surprising. Mineral sunscreens I usually don't find them to be as irritating to my eyes. Blah blah blah, apply lovely 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply for 8 minutes of summer sweating, leave the shower at least every 2 hours. Okay all of that seems pretty normal so let's see if there's any fun ingredients here. Um, water, nice. Um, tomato seed oil, okay. Um, is this fragrance free though? I'm not sure. Made without oxybenzone, fragrance, nanoparticles. This is a fragrance free sunscreen, which I like. I usually try to avoid fragrance just because I have sensitive skin and it's just something that I can avoid. Plus I have a horrible sense of smell, so fragrance doesn't really do anything for me. Let's go ahead and try it. So this is a brand new bottle. I'm going to peel this off. So um, if you just watched my buzz cut video, um, yeah, that like just happened like 20 seconds ago and then I started filming this video. So there's like a pile of hair on the floor and that thing just fell into it. Never mind. Let's just ignore that that happened. Let's go ahead and see how it smells. It really doesn't have a strong smell one way or the other. There's a little bit of a scent to it. I can't really describe it. It's not very strong. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so <clears throat> it isn't super easy to apply. It's not difficult to apply. It's kind of average, I would say, with ease of application. It's not drying up too fast, but it's also not just like gliding over the skin, if that makes sense. I'm already loving how easy this is with the buzz cut. Um, I'm not having to worry about getting it in my hair and messing my hair up. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go in with uh, one more layer. So that is a good amount. So if the white cast isn't too serve severe, if the white cast isn't very severe, then I'll be really impressed because this is a good, good amount that I'm applying here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in my eyebrows, get it in my mustache, get it in my beard, just in case there is a white cast or an eyebrow problem, it's evenly applied. Okay, let's go ahead and go in for some face padding. Okay, how does it look? <laughs> I'm super excited to see. Let me look in my little mirror. So, missed a spot. So I am seeing a little bit of an eyebrow problem. Um, I'm getting that just subtle blue tint in my facial hair, my mustache, and my beard. Um, it definitely seems to be kind of clumping up in those areas and getting kind of stuck. So that is a con. It's not too oily feeling. Um, it is more matte, but it definitely is uh, kind of exposing my dry skin areas and clumping up in my, my facial hair. 
The white cast isn't too severe. I think it is a little bit visible. Um, as always, you can be the judge of what you think that it looks like, and you should let me know what you think it looks like in the comments down below. It was about average on the difficulty to apply, and um, one pro I would say though is that the fragrance isn't strong at all. Um, the smell, it doesn't really smell um, like anything. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, it doesn't feel too greasy on the skin, it doesn't feel gross in my hands anymore. So texture wise, I would say that this sunscreen is pretty good. So this is a really good example of a sunscreen that I would call a beach sunscreen. Um, I would use this in a heartbeat if I was going to the beach or going swimming and it wasn't super important that I you know didn't have that eyebrow problem happening um, because it was just fine to apply and it wasn't irritating with the fragrance and <clears throat> wasn't irritating to my eyes and doesn't feel gross on my hands so I would use this in one of those situations all day long but I might not use this as my daily face sunscreen so overall I'm pretty pleased with this sunscreen I just think that it may be one of those sunscreens that we want to use in specific situations also the packaging is pretty cute I'm just gonna throw that out there so that's really all I have to say for this review I do want to mention that there is a fun development that has taken place on this channel if you really care a lot about this channel and the content that I create, there is now a really fun way for you to support the channel. I have launched a Patreon page, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically a website where viewers can subscribe to different memberships, and in exchange for subscribing, you get like some really cool perks. So for example, I have like a merch discount promo code on there. There's a chat that is for sunscreen and such fans called the Sundrop Chat with custom emojis and it's really cute. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And then um, I'm going to be doing like a live Q&A every month. So if you get um, a certain tier, then you'll have access to that live stream. So there's just all kinds of stuff and I'm going to have that linked in the description below. So if you want to check that out, you definitely can. And I would love for you to become a patron if you want to support the channel in that way or your support can be something as simple as leaving a thumbs up down below or hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the bell so that you get notifications little things like that help me a lot with um, growing the channel so really anything that you can do if you want more sunscreen reviews more sun care and self care content um, those little things mean a whole lot to me because uh, I'm trying to grow this community and you are a part of that so <clears throat> I think that's all that I have to say in this video if you enjoyed this video you should check out this one it's being recommended especially for you or if you want to watch more reviews check out this playlist as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.